Tis the season, friends, and today I want to share with you one of our most favorite traditions that we enjoy doing with our boys the month of December. It's a little something I call the Christmas Mailbox. The Christmas Mailbox started a few years ago after being inspired by Elf on the Shelf. Although the Christmas mailbox has nothing to do with elves or shelves, I was seeing everybody post on Facebook pictures of their little elves and all the mischief they had gotten into and feeling nothing but anxiety. Yes, I could never do that. There's no way. Too much pressure. How would I beat the year from last? Where would I put these elves? I just, it stressed me out. And so I wanted to do something like that with my children, but I didn't want the pressure of all the elf shenanigans. So I came up with this, the Christmas mailbox. We've been doing this now for a few years. My boys look forward to it every December, as do I. So towards the end of November, I sit down with a pen and paper and I write out a bunch of ideas. And basically our mailbox is just a vessel for holiday fun throughout the month of December. Um, it's a great reminder for me to be more present in the moment, to create more simple, fun holiday experiences for my children, and it really kind of keeps me in check. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't come up with as much fun things to do with my boys as I do. Basically what it is, in a nutshell, is this Christmas mailbox box comes out the beginning of the month. Um, if there is a treat of any sort waiting inside, I lift the flag up and my boys know to come and check it. Um, there's no time limit, like it doesn't happen every morning or every night or every afternoon at three o'clock. It just happens when it happens. It may not even happen every day. And if there's bad behavior, my boys definitely know there is nothing waiting for you in that mailbox because bad behavior does not bring on a reward. But if you've had great behavior, yes, there might be something waiting for you in the mailbox. Basically, there is no pressure. No pressure at all. And that was the only way I could come up with something Elf on the Shelf like and knew that and know that I would stick to it. So in this box will hold all kinds of different stuff. It could be a little treat like holiday stickers, or it could be something they could eat, or it could be clues to an activity that we will be doing as a family. Last year, um, whenever it was our turn to decorate Christmas cookies that month, I don't know why I said our turn, but when it was time for us to decorate Christmas cookies that month, I got out all the Christmas uh, cookie cutters and the frosting and all of the sprinkles and all the things they would want to decorate Christmas cookies and I shoved this thing full. I think I even ended up leaving it open and letting some kind of truckle out on the table. Um, and then the boys, whenever they saw it, they knew what we were going to be doing. Whenever we look at Christmas lights, I usually will include like a Google image that I print out from my computer that with Christmas lights and on a house and they know what that means. This year I want to do a fun holiday themed bath for them so in the mailbox I will probably include some sort of like Christmassy bath bomb. They are all about the lush stuff so I may splurge and get them a lush bath bomb. I don't know. Um, but I will definitely include red and green glow sticks and tell them that we will be listening to Christmas music while they take their Christmas bath. Um, some other things I have planned. One day at the very beginning when we start this they're going to get their Christmas jammies for them to enjoy throughout the month and I will also toss in a new to us Christmas DVD, which is probably one that I thrifted. I love thrifting Christmas DVDs at the thrift store because, you know, it's cheap and I find them throughout the year and I kind of hoard on the, onto them until it comes time for this. We will also be doing this month a Grinch party. Just us and the boys and I will probably come up with some sort of a cheesy Grinch themed invite that I create myself. Nothing fancy because this is all about keeping it simple. So I may even just print a picture of the Grinch slap him on a piece of red construction paper and call it a day. But for the party I have planned for them to make some air pop popcorn, we will toss in some red and green Christmas, I mean red and green M&Ms, and I will probably come up with some sort of a Grinch themed drink and we will be watching the Grinch. So it's all about creating these special simple moments throughout the month to make sure that I am not getting carried away with the hustle and bustle of the shopping and the gift wrapping and the holiday parties and the to-do list that I am stopping, enjoying the month and enjoying these moments with my boys. And this, even though it's a little mailbox, it keeps me in check. So if this sounds like something you may wanna do, my tip to you is to keep it as easy and simple as possible. Um, 
whenever I sit down and make my list of things I would like to do, it that's just what it is. It's a list. It may or may not happen. Happen, And depending on how the day or the week is going, depends on the items that I will pick um, for the mailbox for either that day or that week. And really sometimes it's just like the day of that I'm like, okay, we've got time for stickers on paper and I will just throw them in the mailbox and there you go. Um, but I would say that you don't need a mailbox like this. I did find mine at Big Lots a couple of years ago and because I have talked about this a lot on social media and it has become a favorite for a lot of my followers over there and they too are doing this with their children, I keep an eye out for these mailboxes so I can let you know where I see them. Um, so this year I have seen them again at Big Lots. I have also seen them at Michael's Craft Stores. Um, I would imagine maybe even Hobby Lobby and I have seen smaller versions at Dollar Tree but you can also just get like a gift bag like a Christmas gift bag and that's your thing that you're putting your activities in you could do a box and wrap it with wrapping paper or get a box and let your kids decorate it with markers and make it look like festive fun whatever you want to use it doesn't have to be a mailbox um, so down below in the description box, I will list out everything that I am thinking about doing for our Christmas mailbox this year. May or may not happen, but just kind of like some ideas that I have. And if you are one of my Instagram buddies that are watching this and you have done this with your children, Please share your ideas, things that were hits with your kiddos so that people can be inspired by you as well. If you're watching this and you have ideas, please share them below because why sharing is caring and that's what this season is all about and we can get inspired from each other. So I will probably share some of our Christmas mailbox activities during um, Vlogmas because we are doing vlogmas over here. Um, and I will kind of like let you know what I have planned and what's going on and if we're doing an activity that I'm vlogging that showed up in the mailbox. So anyways, we love doing this. I hope that it inspires you in some way to do some simple fun with your children this holiday season. It doesn't need to be crazy. You don't need to be Pinterest mom or parent, but you can keep it simple and attainable for you in a way that fits into your life and this definitely works for us. So I will see you guys in the next one, which will be tomorrow because it's Vlogmas. Bye.